Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Chibi Goat, and this is going to be a tutorial guide thing for starting off in DayZ. I've been planning on doing this for a pretty long time, and now I'm finally going to do it. Basically, I have aggroed a zombie already. Okay, so this is going to be a guide for uh, basically, basically for newbie noobs, newbie newbie McNooversons at DayZ, people who are pretty new to the game. But it could also have some stuff in it that would help. Uh, people have been playing for a while. I have probably around 200 hours into the game. Uh, mine's, I don't play with it connected to Steam anymore, so I don't know exactly. Um, so I'm just going to cover some real super duper basics, then some less not so basic stuff. Um, I'm going to try to go over it fast, but I, I imagine this video will be pretty long. Uh, first of all, I spawned in Solnichi, which is a really good spawn for me personally. I really like that spawn. That's probably the best spawn I could get um, because that's on the east coast, which I can just go right up to Berezino and um, and uh, the airfield and all that. So this is an awesome spawn for me. Um, for you, you might like it, you might not. I personally like spawns that are farther away from the main cities like Cherno and Electro. Uh, so yeah, this is a good spot for me. And the eastern northeast is less way less populated than the south and just way less populated than everywhere else basically uh, except for maybe somewhere in the north middle or something anyway uh, I'm gonna go over HUD icons first start with super basics uh, you see in the top right you see the ear and the eye it's how visible and how hearable you are pretty simple the, the changes it based on the ground you walk on here on the grass that's one on the ear, three visibility, and then on this harder ground, two at ear, and then still three visibility. So I'm louder on that on that ground. Grass is nice and soft. Then you can hold hold shift to walk slowly. So when I walk, it's down to two, two visibility and uh, no hearing. Um, you can crouch like this, crouch, crouch run, crouch walk. You can run like this, crouch or run like that and then walk or you can prone like this and you can prone slowly by holding shift usually it works for me it's not working right now sometimes it doesn't work it's kinda weird um, you can also a little bonus tip you can edit your character's profile you see I'm a super old man um, when you go to profiles in the main menu you just edit your profile and you can change how you look and all that um, okay so basically this is be this is be kind of guide to uh, help you survive a little bit um, when you're first starting. Like you probably gonna spawn if you're if you're new to the game, you're gonna spawn and have no idea what's going on. So um, first of all, if you want to get some fat loots, as of now, you don't really spawn with much of anything. You have a flashlight, painkillers, and a bandage. So you know that's really nothing. Uh, your best bet's probably going to be to find a melee weapon. Um, more specifically, specifically a hatchet, uh, which can be found in that um, that little warehouse right there. So, I will make my way over there. Um, there's a lot of main main. I guess I'll discuss the main loot places right now. Uh, there is Berezino, and I guess the main city, the Berezino, uh, Starry Sober, Cherno. Berezino's northeast, kind of close to where I am. Cherno and Electro are down south. No, uh, s was Starry Sober is kind of towards the middle more, maybe a little west. And then uh, the airfields, there's a northwest airfield, which is the biggest and most dangerous airfield because it has two barracks. And barracks are uh, basically the best place to get loot other than helicopter crashes. Uh, occasionally you'll come across helicopter crashes, which have loot that you can't find anywhere else but that's kinda weird because a friend of mine found a foul which is a helicopter crash site weapon in a deer stand so they might have changed that that might have just been super lucky um, something like that so uh, barracks there's only two barracks in the game and those two barracks are at the northwest airfield so that's why it's such a significant spot that's why everybody likes it and why it's so dangerous to go there um, I personally like the Northeast Airfield because you can find a good uh, assault, uh, what do you, assault gun, assault shooty, boom boom. You can find a good assault rifle and uh, maybe a secondary, and it's 
like way way lower danger zone it's not not usually a whole lot of people there uh, but at the same time there are two major sniper hills at the northeast airfield so you got to be really really careful about that um there's also the Baroda, Baloda, Baloda airfield, which is north or southwest, and that is a good place to go if you're just starting off, if you first spawn, because you can, you don't, it doesn't really matter if you die, because you have basically nothing, so you might as well go check out Baloda if you're close to it, because uh, um, a little bit south of the of Baloda's airstrip is a camp, and in the camp, in each corner of the camp, there are um, deer stands and so in those three in those four deer stands are are super du super duper good loots um and that brings me to deer stands there's deer stands all over the map i will link a map in the description uh the map i use it shows most of the deer stands and that's your best bet your best safest bet of getting loot without actually risking your life going to the northwest airfield or below that is also dangerous because it's that's a highly highly populated area because people spawn there all the time so um in towns there are stores which are great for uh you know like medical well not great for medical supplies but you can find medical supplies there it's good for food and drink and the occasional weapons it's also really good for finding backpacks uh so you start off with this backpack there's a patrol pack and this only has eight slots. There's a backpack that has four slots, which is the um, check pouch, and that's basically useless since you start off with a bigger backpack than that. I think I got that zombie. Um, so yeah, that's not that great. And a little tip right now, since this is kind of happening, uh, if you go onto a dock, zombies don't like docks, so they won't continue to follow you on the dock. Lags back there. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so there's stores in main cities, and there, there is um, some hospitals. Hospitals are usually pretty significant places that they can be pretty dangerous because people uh, often need supplies from hospitals. And the main thing you get from hospitals uh, are is our blood bags because um, blood bags restore all of your health, or all of your blood, which is basically health. <coughs> Uh, I didn't go over the rest of the HUD items, whoops. Uh, okay, so I went over the hearing and visibility. Bottom right, the, the top one, you have temperature, then you have water, or your thirst, and uh, then you have your blood, and then you have um, food. So the water and food will naturally go down, and it'll start turning red, like orangish, then red, and then it'll start flashing red, then eventually you'll start bleeding slowly from... Uh, uh, starvation or thirst if you don't drink or eat something. Um, the temperature, I'm in the rain right now, so you can see my temperature up there is 38, and it's going down because I'm in the rain and the cold, and you can get a cold if you're in a temp, in, uh, if your temperature gets too low, I think below 30 or something, and I think there's a bug, kind of a glitch, if you just relog, the cold goes away, but otherwise you would need antibiotics, which are super duper rare, so... Um, you don't really want to deal with that. Uh, hospitals. There's loot uh, hospitals in the front. The, there's glass you're going to have to break. Um, if you do come across a hospital and you have to bla break the glass uh, in front, uh, you, I'd recommend breaking the third glass from the left or from the right. Hit that third glass. You have to shoot it or hit it with a melee weapon. And uh, then that's how you get the super fat loots. There's also... Uh, a possibility that a box will spawn inside or at the back of the hospital and at the back of the hospital there's also a ladder that goes up to the roof and on the roof there is boxes as well or can be boxes as well there's usually some stuff there so that might be safer than shooting the windows out of the hospital um there's also you used to be able to refill your water bottle. You don't even start with a water bottle anymore, so I can't really show you. But you used to um, be able to refill your water bottle at the ocean, but now you can't. And on that map I linked in the description, there's a whole bunch of little water droplets on the map. And that is where you can refill your water. Um, there's, like, wells and little pump things in, in towns that you can refill them at. And you can also refill it at lakes and, like, rivers and stuff, as long as it's not uh, connected to the ocean or something. 
Um, so you really have two main options when you're starting the game when you first spawn. One option is to, you know, risk dying, which isn't a huge deal because you just spawned, you don't really have anything. You risk dying and go to places like Cherno or Electro or the Belota airfield to just get get that good initial loot equipment set up. So that's good stuff right there. That's what I personally would do because I don't mind dying at this point. Um, so that's, that's the first option. You get that and then you go off and do whatever you want. Um, and then after that, or b other than that, the other option is to just simply go north. If you're more into the survival, not dying, not risking your life for some gear, then you want to go s just north because north is, it can be just as good as staying here and checking out Electro or Truno. It just might be a little slower trying to get gear. Uh, north, you'll run into deer stands on that map. You can see all the deer stands on there. Or most of the deer stands are still some unmarked deer stands. Uh, there's a bunch of deer stands, and deer stands and barns, you can see the barns on the map as well, are the main places to get loot, lootage um, in the north if you don't want to hang around the coast area. So that's going to be your best bet if you want to survive. Um, heading north is just the safest option in general. Heading just straight north, not the northwest airfield of that area, that's kind of bad, but uh, kind of the northeast-ish is kind of safer. Um... But yeah, other than that, if you want player combat, if you want PvP, I'd recommend chilling in Electro or Cherno, because that is a wonderful place for PvP. You're basically guaranteed to be sniped or shot at at some point while you're there. So, you know, fun stuff. Um, what else? So yeah, you have those two main options. Oh, the backpacks. I get off track a lot. The backpacks, there's the patrol pack, the, um, coyote, or not coyote, the, uh, the patrol pack, the check pouch, which was the four slot, which is kind of useless, and um, I aggroed again. And then, okay, so the patrol pack, eight slots, check, check pouch, four slots, and then up one step from the from the patrol pack is the assault pack, which holds twelve, which is usually found in military places. Um, <coughs> Up from that is the check backpack, which is a nice backpack, 16 slots. Uh, it's kind of lengthier and camouflage. Up from that is the Alice pack, which holds 20, I think 20 slot backpack, something like that. Um, and then up from that is the Coyote backpack, just a plain Coyote, which I think they increased the drop rate on. Other, it used to be super rare, but my last two lives I've had one of those, so, and I think those are 24 slots. And a great place for finding backpacks are, or would be at um, at stores and hotels. Uh, hotels are, I think, strictly in main cities like Cherno and Electro and Berezino. Um, stores can be found in other cities, not necessarily just those three. Uh, yeah, stores are really great for that. And you can also find tents in stores and tents in hotels as well. And those are really super duper awesome. You can set those up. It holds a whole bunch of items. And you can save it. And then, yeah, it's just super convenience. Maximumized. Um, there's also vehicles in the game. Uh, pretty unlikely you'll come across them. Although I just had like four vehicles at the same time with my friends. Uh, but we died and lost two of them. Which was boats. We lost two boats. I might upload that maybe. Um, but yeah, if you come across a vehicle, you might need to fix it up, you might not. It kind of depends on the situation. Sometimes they just need gas, which you can get using a jerry can. Sometimes uh, they need other parts like fuel tank parts or engine parts or whatever. <coughs> There's kind of two two different sides here, like the evil and the good. And um, in, in DayZ as a whole, there's the good and the care, care bears as they're referred to as on the forums and such people who get mad at being killed by PvP excuse me, or by like other people like that and then there's the bandits who just freely kill people um, so me pl having played this for around 200 hours honestly I would probably kill someone if I don't know I, I wouldn't kill anybody who's unarmed because that's just stupid and pointless and doesn't help me, doesn't help him, it's just useless. Uh, but I would kill somebody who's running at me with an assault rifle. 
unless they were telling me they were friendly or something. But for the most part, uh, I mean, even if I were to say I kill people all the time, I would. I mean, I wouldn't say that because I, I, you just get dislikes from that. Oh, dislike. Okay, right in your face. Right in your face with that dislike. Um, but I honestly don't actually kill people all the time. I only kill people if they're like an actual threat to me at any in any way. Um, other than that, I don't. So you can choose to go at it whatever way you want. You can kill people. Just just straight out kill everybody. Uh, probably be safest, honestly. Um, or you can make friends and not kill everybody. Or not make friends, just not kill anybody. Whatever, whatever works for you. Uh, there's a couple, there's a few different kinds of houses. There's industrial buildings, which is like that one way over there. That big... Uh, I don't know what you call it, but industrial warehouse. And then that warehouse over there, those are industrial buildings. Those spawn things like car parts. So you want to look in places like that. And this right here in front of me is also an industrial building, but I don't think that's what I can get in. Oh, no, maybe it is. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, and stuff like that, those places are where you can find car parts a lot. And then there's pedestrian houses. Uh, there's only a select few that you can get into. See that black house right in front of me? I can get into that one. I, I can... I haven't played this for so long, I can tell which houses are, because it has that little shed off of it, off to the left facing me, and then it has that thing sticking out of it, the doorway sticking out, so, um, you can get, like, food and drinks and maybe some guns or, like, a hunting knife equipment like that, um, okay, so blood, regaining blood, that reminds me, uh, in order to regain blood, uh, first of all, if you get hit, if you get hit by a zombie, not all the time, but if you get hit by a zombie, <clears throat> or shot or fall or something you will start bleeding in order to stop the bleeding pretty basic you right click bandage myself um, you may also get uh, like shaky vision after that so you'll have to use painkillers if that's what happens um, uh, occasionally you'll break your legs there's kind of a little bug where zombies easily super easily break your legs um, and you'll need morphine for that, and you don't start with morphine, so that can be kind of a big hassle. You find morphine easiest in hospitals, but you can also find it in other places, like uh, military camps and just normal houses, I think, but it's not as common. Uh, so that's pretty important to have. I'd recommend raiding a hospital if you're going to you know, go with that route. Um, otherwise, I don't know. If you were to just go north, I'd recommend stopping at a hospital real quick. I know that's still risky, but, I mean, if you don't have morphine, you get your legs knocked out, it's going to be useless. Anyway, you're going to be, you can't do anything, you would have to crawl, so. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Uh, don't swim in the water, because you will lose your stuff. Uh, they might have fixed it, but I would definitely not count on it. Um, y yeah, you tend to just drop all your stuff when you swim. There's two different camos. I don't know if they've removed them or not, because I haven't seen them in a long time. I doubt they removed them, but um, when you equip them, there's the ghillie camo, and then there's the uh, just regular camo. And when you equip them, they erase your inventory, supposedly. So I would recommend not equipping those until those are fixed, if you do come across those. Um, let's see here. Okay, I totally forgot to go over guns. That's kind of a significant part. I don't know how I missed that. Maybe it's because I'm a boss or something like that. It's probably something around that, to near that category or something. Um, so anyway, there's guns in the game. Uh, the weakest, or supposedly weakest, pistol that is maybe the most common now, maybe not, would be the Makarov. People used to start off with it. You don't start off with it anymore. Um, Makarov can be found all over the place in normal houses, basically everywhere, except, no, I've even, I've even seen it in military places, so, Makarovs are super common, and they don't kill zombies very fast, I mean, it takes like three or four bullets, but, um, you have to shoot them in the head anyway, that's what you should be doing to save your ammo, and that kills them in one shot, so, um, after the Makarov, you kind of upgrade to the 1911 or the revolver. Um, I'd say I, I personally like the 1911 better just because it has one more bullet, or one more round in, in uh, each mag than the revolver does. But, um, yeah, either way, both are good. Both do the same damage. Both have the same noise. The Makarov's noise is really quiet. 
Uh, so that's really good too. Um, and the 1911 and the revolver, I think, are a little bit louder than the Makarov. And they kill in one shot too. Kill zombies in one shot. So those are pretty nice. Uh, you can find two different kinds of ammos for both of those. You find 45 ACP and you find 1911 mags. You can convert those back and forth. Um, like if you have a revolver and you find a 1911 mag, you right click on it and then click convert or whatever it is and it'll change it over to a revolver mag um, so you can use it with your revolver. Uh, up from that there's the M9 and there's the Glock or the G17. Uh, I really like the G17. It's probably my favorite gun or my favorite secondary because it holds lots. It holds 17 rounds in each mag. So that's super good. It does basically the same damage as the Makarov, but you just hit him in the head, so it's not a big deal. And it also has a flashlight. Um, and yeah, it also uses M9 mags. And I think some other kind of mag, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, then there's the M9. The M9, there's a chance to have an M9 silenced. I actually just recently found one. Oh, we just lost it because we died, but. Uh, we had a silenced M9, that was pretty nice. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's it for the secondaries. There's some uh, submachine guns, like the M uh, MP5 is not submachine gun, but um, other stuff like that. I, not really significant, there's a PDW, and that's it. So, after that, there's the primaries. There is the... Um, what is it? The M9, and I think is similar... Uh, loudness to the G17 as well. Uh, so the primaries, the newbies, the newbie -er primaries you'll find are the crossbow, the double barrel shotgun, the Winchester, and the infield, which are in general just normal towns and barns. That's why it's important to check out barns. Um, the Winchester is a nice gun. It's pretty quiet. It's a good zombie killer, and Double barrel I don't like because it only has two, you only, when you find ammo for it, it's only two rounds, so, or two shells or whatever, so it's not really all that great. Infield is the best player killing newbie weapon you can find. It kills everybody, or it kills people, I think, every time in one shot, so that's probably the best weapon you can find uh, to stay safe with, but it is also one of the loudest weapons in the game. So, um, you know, it's pretty dangerous. If you just, It's really good for killing players in an emergency. That's why you would want it. Um, and that's why I like finding that when I first start off, because I just use my secondary, assuming I have one uh, on zombies. Uh, the crossbow's nice. It's a silent killer, completely silent, and or the most silent gun in the game. Or It's not really a gun, uh, the most silent weapon in the game. And uh, it's hard to use. It shoots like an inch above where it actually looks like it would shoot, like a real life inch. Um, so I've kind of practiced with that, and I kind of am able to use it pretty well. But you would just have to practice with it a little bit, and um, you'll be able to use it. I kill zombies sometimes in one shot, uh, a lot of times in two shots. So it's not the best, but it's okay. Um, so after that, in military places like deer stands and. Um, like the Northeast Airfield, the Northwest Airfield, places like that, you'll find AKs, uh, AKM, uh, M4s, M16s, occasionally the DMR, which is a really nice uh, semi-automatic sniper rifle. Um, what else? There's also the M14, which can be found in places like fire stations. Fire stations are also, which is also something I forgot to talk about, and fire stations are... You can find those in uh, Electro and Cherno and the Northwest Airfield, and maybe, I think that's it, actually. Uh, in Electro, there's two of them, so that's really nice. Good military loot from those, and in Cherno, there's one. So, those are good for getting loot in the beginning, and uh, I've found an M14 in one of those before, and that's a battle rifle. It's, like, pretty super high caliber and really powerful, uh, but pretty rare, too, so... Um, Okay, so there's the AKS, the AK-74, normal AK-74. There's the AK-74 Cobra, which has a Cobra sight on it, which is pretty nice. And then there's the AK-74U, which is like a submachine, uh, shorter uh, one. Like it's from, I think it's from Call of, there's one used in Call of Duty. Um, <clears throat> then there's the M4, 
M4A1, I think, or something like that. There's the M4, there's the M4 CCO, which has ACOG scope and a and camouflage and a flashlight, which I have one of those in my vehicle, I think. And there's M16s. I think there's just one kind of M16. I think so. And that has burst fire and single shot. So there's no fully auto on the M16s. There is fully auto on the M4s. Uh, there's single shot and fully auto on all the assault rifles. Um, and except for the M16. And uh, I think that is about it there's snipers there oh yeah there's a cz which you could find in barns that's a, a hunting rifle not the best but it's pretty good it's a pretty good sniper i mean you could settle for it. it's not too bad um then there's other military play other military weapons like the fn fal and the saw and um the other submachine gun silenced and there's the barrett which is the most powerful weapon or most, well, I guess it is the most powerful weapon in the game, most powerful sniper, and that's only helicopter crashes. Um, so yeah, that's about it for weapons. All right, so when you go to an airfield, like the Northeast Airfield, for example, you'll see two hangars and a uh, little radio tower. And in the radio tower, there's loot, and there's loot underneath the stairs. Um, where, like, right as you go in, you see stairs. Underneath those stairs, there's loot. A lot of people might pass that up. And then there's loot up top, uh, all pretty obvious. And the hangers, there's there's potential to be loot in all four corners of the hangers, inside the hangers. So, and check out all four corners when you if you uh, come up to a hangar or something like that. Um, I think that's it. If I think of something else, I will um, I will come back and I will talk about it. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. That was my little guide to help guide uh, to help you guys. Hopefully, it helped a little bit. Um, oh, another thing: if you see a crawling zombie like that, it could be bad, or it could just be that he crawled under something like that little fence over there. Um, but the reason it could be bad is because people can shoot legs out of zombies, so they would have to crawl. So that could be a um, a little warning sign right there. Also, if you're really far away from a town, I already discussed this in um, a previous tips video. If you're really far away from a town and you look with your binoculars or something uh, to see to see in there to try to like scope it out, and if you see zombies, that means there's somebody around there because there has to be somebody around to actually spawn zombies. So. Um, that's gonna be it for now. That's all I got. Uh, thank you guys for watching. My name is Chibi Goat. Please make sure to subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I do other stuff as well. Um, yeah. Feel free to follow me on Twitter as well. I will keep you updated there because that's super convenient to keep you updated at, you know, dog. Okay. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. My name is Chibi Goat and I will see you later.